Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I have another skin slash screen protector slash film to show you. It's the Spigen. I've been told that's how you pronounce it, Spigen. I always said Spigen, but anyway, let's say Spigen for this video. Um, it's the iPhone 5 skin guard set. Now essentially what you get in the package, you get the ultra crystal screen protector, which you can see it's got my fingerprints all over it there. But it's one of the easiest ones to apply as long as your phone's clean, everything's all sorted on there. I haven't got any bubbles. It's one of the best selling screen protectors just on its own and that comes in the packaging. Now the actual skin guard itself is this, you can see it's like a leather pattern on the back. Now you actually get two of those in the package for $17.99. Um, one of them with a logo cut out, same pattern, or one without and you get this metallic logo sticker that you can put on the bottom of your phone. I've decided to go for the one without the cutout because I just couldn't get it to sit straight. Um, it wasn't quite perfect around the logo so I took it off and covered it with this one instead. It actually looks quite nice. It looks like it belongs on the phone. It's got kind of a stylish feel but it's not the only colour available. There are others. Let me just double check now. There's a list here. I've got black which is this one. Um, it comes in brown, carbon white, carbon black, grey carbon and white. Um, so there's a good choice there for $17.99, it's pretty good value for money, it will protect your phone. And it also, I don't know if you can see on here, um, it comes with two bits of film that cover the top and the bottom of your phone. Obviously it leaves your camera and your lens and microphone there exposed, so you still have access to those. Um, now the only issue I really had with it, I mean design wise it's fine, it works well with the phone. The only real issue I have with, with this particular skin is because it comes in three pieces instead of just being one nice piece of fake leather that covers the entire back of your phone it comes in three pieces now the only issue with that is you have to get it absolutely perfect and obviously that's almost impossible you can see I've got this right down to the line at the bottom but then it leaves a tiny gap at the top now I'm guessing those have been left to leave a gap you know the plastic um, antenna gaps that run all the way along the back here I guess they've been left for that but then um, there is a tiny bit of the back of your phone that's always not going to be protected or never going to be protected so there's a risk that you will get a little bit of scratching there. I mean it's not going to be major, it's not a big deal. Um, this is primarily um, something to make your device look a bit more stylish if you don't like the look of it already or if you do like this in fact obviously it's a personal preference thing entirely um, but it will stop your phone from getting scratched on the front and the back pretty much. Um, mostly. I mean it leaves the edges exposed which most cases and skins do these days anyway. Um, but uh, if I was to give it a mark out of 10 I would say 7 um, is absolutely fine. It's good value for money. It's not expensive. It's r relatively cheap in fact. Um, and actually the screen protector you get with it is one of the better ones on the market for the price range. So um, overall not a bad job by Spigen or Spigen. Um, if you want to ask me anything about this case or skin, sorry, feel free. I'm at TIP underscore Cam on Twitter. Uh, and don't forget to check out our Facebook page. There's also a link to our Google Plus page. We have one of those. Um, check out our Google Plus page. We're regularly posting stuff on there. Um, link in the description box below. But I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.